Welcome Aquarius. This is going to be your June reading. Hope everybody is doing well. All right, we have the Seven of Cups. We got options. We got opportunities coming through, choices, choosing wisely. We also got the Dawn of Rings. Or maybe a sense of someone feeling unfocused or not interested or feeling a bit bored. We do have the, the beautiful Queen of Rings, though. The Queen of Pentacles is very hardworking. They make things happen. They're caring. They're nurturing. They're financially responsible. Not only do they care for their family, they care for their partner and they work for themselves. Okay? So this is a like you, you could count on you <laughs> energy. I love it. Very self-made, however, but there's a lot of lack coming from somebody else. We do have something out of balance with the temperance card. Um bit and feeling impatient. Okay, we have the King of Wands. We have the Queen of Cups in the challenge. Now, when I see the Queen of Cups in the challenge, there's something that is intuitively like you're feeling. You're feeling highly sensitive around something. You can't shake something off because you're feeling it to your core, your intuition, instincts are happening. There may be something that you're very hurt about or feeling distant with somebody here too, but it's just showing, like you're upset because it's like of these feelings that are arriving, arising, sorry. Someone's feeling defensive or attacked. It's like something that you're upset about. Heart, it's like trying to rise above something. You know, Let's get right into clarifications. What's this King of Wands? Now, the King of Wands is a very fiery energy. But we're going to see what's going on. This is investing your time. You're putting in the effort. Planting seeds here. Nurturing your care, your time, right? Into this connection. But there's a sense of feeling just un happy about something uh, just feeling unsatisfied there's like a block in some way there is something the king of the king of wands can be very very attractive like very confident very magnetic and charming and flirty however there's like intense passion that comes with this energy, but um, we're going to have to see. Someone's causing delays because they're not making decisions or they're out of balance. They're feeling stressed, whoever this may be. They have a hard time prioritizing or they're just feels like they're just causing a lot of delays because there's a lot of um, resistance to change in their behavior or how or something here. But the tower is here, you guys, the tower is here. There's a lot of avoidance. It's like they're holding on to things that's not working for them or doesn't serve their highest good anymore, whoever this is. So it's like trying to, like if, trying to avoid this tower from happening, but the more you avoid it, the more, the more you're pushing things under the rug, right? And not, so something needs to change from what this card is saying, or it will change unexpectedly down the line. Oh, geez. Hold on. Trying to avoid a tower moment. But something needs to be addressed. Yeah. 
something needs to be addressed. We have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse too. It feels like there's like a very codependent energy or needing to reevaluate something with the Nine of Pentacles. It's like, I feel there's a lot of you investing in you right now, choosing you right now, because something's not working on this, this person's lacking. So it's, even though there's like a sense of defeat, a sense of like feeling helpless or low self-worth in some way, you're turning, you're, you have the ability to turn this around, which I feel like you're doing. Because there's something that you desire here and that you want and that you want op to open up to in your life too. So it's like something is breaking within your, like you're getting, a, a unlocking a deeper understanding of, of you now, of what you want. And um, it's, it's making you <laughs> reevaluate the whole connection plus yourself. See? Seven of Cups, options in the past, the Hierophant, commitment, doing like, I don't know, you guys. The King of Swords can is just feeling emotionally detached now. Maybe there is a sense of being picky or not really making choices in the past, but now it's like some, somebody here is not being very open-minded or... There's a lot of, there's something unfair about this situation that's causing someone to not make any moves, but it's hard. I got I to gotta keep going. I got to get in their mind because it looks like you're walking away. <laughs> looks like things are basically going into a separation. Uh, this person feels like they just need to give up or surrender to save this connection in some way too. But they're not, they feel attacked. They, there, there's an opportunity here. There's a want to bring balance. Why didn't they? Oh, they're making a poor judgment call. They've been making. There's an opportunity here. The Ace of Pentacles. So I don't know if somebody is wanting more of a commitment. Or if somebody wants to take on this new opportunity. But judgment is coming in and, and saying that. Somebody's struggling to make a choice, struggling to do something or to confront these issues. But it's like, don't hold yourself back for someone and, and stop your dreams. You know, it's like there's something here where there's a wants, different wants and desires, but trying to make it work. But it's just something's not like the, the puzzle's not fitting you know like there's a lot of missing pieces here there's that king of swords again this could be you aquarius yeah just in fight with yourself i think look at let me be real with you because i'm i am feeling this for you there's a sense of conflict and frustration okay you may, you have your wants, you have your desires too. You can't just go and live somebody else's life. You have to have your life involved too. You, you're not a person to mold into energies or to just settle. Like there has to be where you are living too, not just living for someone. So this is something that I'm seeing that could be affecting you are causing challenges is because you have not been living in your truth for a little bit okay you know this is now you being detached and getting and having conflict if you want to invest or not because it's like you're finally being honest with yourself but it now it's it feels like some, some things have been bottled up for so long that it's kind of coming off the wrong way. And that's understandable. 
Again, because you have your wants and desires and something's not being fulfilled for you. And now it's adding like, I'm unsatisfied. So it's like hurts you. It makes you mad that you have to make these decisions or it makes you upset or, or something like that or just makes you um, emotionally detached to where you have to make some type of judgment call. But it feels like a lot of things are just unraveling right now and it's causing you like maybe there's not enough attraction anymore the chemistry's gone something's happening here to where it's turning you cold yeah and may even in separation that's what i'm seeing because if this see this is feeling isolated it's feeling suffocated in some way and you may have gave this person multiple chances or multiple, like, you know, a lot of your time and investment to the point where you're feeling now, it's just not fulfilling you anymore because it doesn't, and, and, and in their mind, they feel attacked. They feel like they're doing something wrong, but I feel like the focus was so much on this person that, and what you know, what was the right things, you know, <laughs> and it just didn't fit with you in the end, or it's not fitting with you, no matter how hard you try. So it's just kind of getting you more distant. I do not see the King of Swords being manipulative or hurtful or mad. I do, see, I mean, are, I mean, are um, manipulative or calculated. I see the King of Swords frustrated, hurt, um, pissed in a way, but angry. Like, are you serious type of energy? You're using your intelligence, but you're just like, mm, I think something really got you mad. It's, it, it, it's, it's kind of making you rethink everything. And I love that the Empress is here. Because the Empress is all about growth. So no matter what, abundance is coming in. No matter what, it's coming out. Okay? There may even be like a pregnancy or children too. I'm just saying. For some, not all. <laughs> uh, Four of Wands though is just saying there's a disharmony within the connection. There's a breakup. There's a separation. Okay. Just feeling defeated now. Don't want to fight. Don't want to fight this anymore. You want, you're desiring for peace. You're desiring for balance. And you don't want to be this person because you're not the king of swords in the reverse. I feel that right now you're being very clear than ever. And there's maybe some things that you can be upset about. But it's actually letting go of the control. But again, the Empress is here to show, tell you that things, something is coming into life. Things are growing in your life. You are exploring your desires as things that make you feel happy, connecting with your self-worth, connecting to what Aquarius really wants and making those decisions and not caring about what anybody thinks and being confident with those decisions. That's the Empress. The Empress knows what they want what they desire what they deserve and it comes very it comes with a lot of abundance um so i don't it looks like there is some walking away i could clarify this for you guys Ugh, see you're walking to your desires you're walking away to your nine of cups now or walking towards your nine of cups see it's like this whole thing was just a fight a conflict about your wants too. Wow, that's crazy. You went from the eight to the nine and it's causing a break. I need to focus on my stuff, you know? Jeez Louise, these readings. Okay, let's see what this person um, message to you here, Aquarius. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. I want to call you and hear your voice. Oh, the way you love can never be matched. We will always come back to each other. This person wants a reunion. 
This person may not say it right now, but they want a reunion. We don't know how hard it is or hard it was or is to let you go. I hide behind material things. I don't react when people mention you. It looks like there is a separation in some way I'm seeing. There's like a big fight of something. Um, or just seeing things for what it is. And you're self-made. Cupid arrow strikes. So maybe even a new interest as I'm seeing too. Um, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Yes. Yes, please enjoy yourself. Um, I can't get over how the King of Swords is coming up because I usually talk really badly about the King of Swords. But I thought this was you this time, but not in a bad way because of the surrounding cards, more in a frustrating way, you know? It's like, yeah, it just feels like very frustrating. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this here for you guys. Oh, it feels like there may be a lot of regret and sadness here during this time of healing or a time apart. But things will come back to balance from what I'm seeing, okay, within your lives. And the Empress is here to bring growth, love, abundance, rest, regroup, recharge, and then get going. You know, that's the Empress energy. So again, I'm gonna leave this here. I hope this message helped and resonated with you, Aquarius. And if it did in any way, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.